Yes, this is still what? Vital tutorial. Still on what? The basic concept of what? Derivative. Here, yeah, we'll be looking at the derivative of a raised to the power of s. a raised to the power of s. a raised to the power of s. Then I will let my y equals to what? a raised to the power of s. Here, yeah, I will not be uh, considering the principle, uh, first principle. I will not be doing that, but I'll be taking the natural log of what both sides. I will take the natural log of both sides, but the base will be in what base e. It will be in base e. It will be in what base e. So if I take the natural log of both sides, it will be log y base e equals to log a s a to the power of s base what base e. E. So now I'll now differentiate. I'll differentiate both sides. I'll differentiate this in respect to what s. Don't forget, I've uh, I've, I've shown the proof of uh, this to us. I've shown this to us. So, but here we are differentiating in respect to what s. But here we are having what y. We are having y. So it then means that if we differentiate y. We are going to add what the y the s that will be the what the derivative of what y. So here, if I differentiate this, I have to differentiate log uh, y. I have to differentiate log y. On that normal day, so what to do what log s base e, which will give us what one all over what s. One all over s. One all over s. One all over s. So here, boy, it is what y. So if it is y, it will be log y base e, which will be equal to 1 all over y. Because we are differentiating in respect to what? S. So we add the y, the s. So here, if I differentiate this, it will give me what? 1 all over y, the y, the s, which is equal to, here, here, don't forget your log reading, log a raised to the power of b in base e. Is still equal to what b log a base what base e. So if you bring the power back to the what to the back of the log, I'll bring this s back and the s log s log s log. So they are supposed to do this before I differentiate for the purpose of what understanding. So let me do that before I differentiate. I'll have log y base e to be equal to s log a base e so i can differentiate now i can differentiate by differentiate i will be left with what one all over y the y the s which will be equal to by differentiate this by differentiate s yeah this will be what product rule in action but look at this if i differentiate s i will be left with what one one multiplied by this you give me log log a base e if i want to differentiate this you give me nothing but what nothing but zero zero multiplied by s is still what zero so divide the s divide the s to be equals to to be equals to yeah i can just say one times the y give us what the y y times the s will give us y the s which will be equals to log a base what base e so here here yeah, I can uh, I can cross multiply, but if I want to cross multiply because I want to do, um, I'm finding what my dy is, I just bring back this y here. So it means that the y over the s, the s will be equal to y log uh, a base what base e y log a base e. But mind you, we are not done. Don't forget your y is equal to what a raised to the power of s. So I can substitute, so I'll be left with what the y the s to be equal to a raised to the power of s log what log a base e. So this will be the what the derivative of what a raised to the power of s. But let us assume that we put our uh, a to be e. We put our a to be e. We put our a to be e. Y will be equal to e raised to the power of what s exponential s. So it means that uh, if I have to differentiate this, 
Do I want to show us the uh, other way of uh, this exponential s? I want to show us the other way of this exponential s. Oh, maybe I'll treat it on its own. I'll treat it on its own. So here, hence the word, the derivative of a raised to the power of what s times. I remember what? Zero. Remember what? Less.